Guys, I'm working on a trailer today. This is a Great Dane uh, trailer. It's always a mystery how these things always break. I, can, I cannot never figure out why these things always break, and that's one of the things I always fight with. Um, for most people, this would be a little intimidating because of the electrical. But I'm gonna show you how to work on it and uh, fix it. Uh, it's, 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 it's much easier than it looks. People would be a little intimidated because it's electrical, but um, and also seeing this, I'm gonna go ahead and change this valve, this little rubber, anyway. But anyway, the main focus is right here. Um, what you do is take off, take off this. It's half inch. Take off that that. Uh, take off this right here. Get 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 as much out of the way. So for you to, for for it to be easier, these three bolts, three Torx screws in the back. Uh, one, two, and three at the bottom over here. You take those off, then the front cover comes off. And once that comes off, you can take off this back box and uh, and replace it with ease because this won't get hung up while you're trying to take this off. Anyway, I'm going to take it off uh, and then I'll show you how it is when it's off. Now, once you take the torque screws off, the front cover comes off. Then now you need to take off these half inch screws to take off this box. I'll show you how it looks when it's taken off. And once you take off the screws, you just just a matter of pulling, pulling it straight, straight through. There's a grommet at the bottom. It just comes off with it. Then this box is off. This is trash. You get the new box, put it on, and slide it on there, and slide the grommet at the bottom. And let me show you how it looks like when you when you when when that's done. New box just slides on the grommet in the back. Just just you now slides on. This pin connector doesn't um, doesn't um, slide all the way through then while, while, while you still have it in the back you bring in the new cover the front cover see if we're replacing these plastic ones with the metal ones hopefully to stop the breakage but um, I don't think it will but at least this won't break but the box will break instead of having two broken pieces I have one hopefully not breaks but at this rate will we'll constantly breaking so when you take that off there's a little o-ring there's a little o-ring that comes right there make sure you do not lose it because that's a weather weather proofing so just stick it on there then you put it up right like this then uh, screw screw this on with these uh, torque screws that we took took off in the back and it's gonna look like this when I, when it's done. So that you know that you align it properly, there's a little hole right there. Uh, that little hole right there will fit in with the little pin right there. That's how you know that you have aligned it properly. See that little pin right there? And that little hole should align, then that will align your screws. All right, once you align that, just you, you tighten your Torx, then this thing is ready to mount back on. Uh, then put your bolts, nuts, and we're good to go. Just put your, these bolts on. You put your nuts over there at the bottom. Tighten both sides, and this thing is repaired. It's good to go. All right, so when the, it's all stated down, everything is nice, it's nice and tight. This is how it's supposed to look like. Um, make sure you inspect the wires inside. Make sure you, <laughs> nothing got pulled out or anything like that, uh, which I did off camera. Um, while I'm at it, I just went on and changed the little rubber seals. Um, 
on it and uh, I'll check you know how the registration and everything is in there and inspection so pretty much this trailer is ready to put back in service it was out of service that's ready to put back in service uh, just inspect everything make sure you don't have any loose connectors and everything is good and uh, this one is done anyway thanks for thanks for watching please share like and subscribe uh, and uh, comment in the comment section if you have any questions but this is how to change a electrical box on a trailer this particular one in is a great dane 2020 great dane and um these always break for some reason um i haven't figured out the mystery yet but anyway thanks for watching please like like share and subscribe and see you on the next one thanks bye